had a section where we shot the two cars approaching the train for the near miss where the BMW skates through and then he throws a like a 180 slide on the opposite side of the train and then we kind of had the uh, Trans Am lead up to that and do a slide. As the, as the driver comes in and throws a slide, it slams his pole into the ground, which catapults the car up in the air. Then we cut to that on the opposite side of the tracks, where we see the Trans Am come over the top by hitting a, what we would call a pipe ramp. This ramp I've hit quite a few times, but I've probably done a couple hundred of these kinds of wrecks in my career, so uh, we've taken every precaution no one made it. People got the wrong figures, were misinformed about the height of the trans. When we came out to shoot it, they said, oh, I thought the trans was only 14 foot high. I said, no, it's 16 foot. I went, ah. As far as I know, it's, it's the steepest ramp we could find. So uh, it'll get the car way up in the air. But I'm going to come around the corner. I'll be all strapped in, just kind of like a NASCAR guy, and uh, come in at about 60, 65 miles an hour and <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> the fireball went off too soon. The guy couldn't see the ramp. So it's sort of got up the ramp like that. He went up the ramp with only one, one wheel on the ramp. So the car just went up in the air and dropped like an old coconut. Second time, um, they overcompensated. Instead of going, actually it's meant to go 140 feet, I think it went 160 feet horizontal. And went, instead of going 30 feet in the air, went 40 feet up in the air, but came down on its roof like that. Well, yeah, I mean, anything like this is going to get your attention, uh, but uh, I've got a great cage. You know, I've had the same guys build them for years, and Tony said he wants a lot of air. We're going to give it to him.